Today we're going to be looking at Choreo Master Micro and we're going to be looking at some new tools uh, on Choreographer. Uh, in particular we're going to be looking at how we set uh, presets and how we can map uh, to these new buttons on the front panel. Uh, first thing I want to show you uh, is how to set a preset. Uh, presets are really uh, simple to set so what we do is we take a window and uh, we just put the videos where we want them. Uh, so for example, this one I want uh, straighter. Uh, this one we're just gonna pull out a little bit more. And uh, that's my preset that I want. Uh, fairly, fairly simple, but uh, that's what I want at the moment. So I'm gonna set that as a preset. Now at the moment on the front panel, you can see I have three buttons lit. That's because I only have three presets so far. So I'm gonna add preset four. Every time it appears, I want it to appear over a second. I'm now gonna add that preset. So you now see on the front, I now have four buttons lit. So that's the first thing I wanna show you. Second thing is, uh, as I fire off the presets, you'll notice that Choreographer follows suit. So if I go back to preset one, can you see how Choreographer is following? So I'm not touching Choreographer at all at the moment. Uh, it's instantly updating uh, Choreographer and the buttons are updating each other right away. And it's the same in Dashboard. So if I fire in Dashboard, you can see how that uh, is following also. So uh, for a long time I've been able to switch sources uh, within the interface. I can now do it from the front button uh, as well. Uh, from within uh, the Dashboard, uh, I have a matrix area. See here, I have uh, four presets, so I can fire those off. Um, and you notice how the buttons are changing on the front panel to, to match. Um, so let's just uh, fire through these. So I want to see all my sources. And I can uh, use this uh, switching mechanism here to change the window sources. So you can see here, I'm going to change all the sources to be uh, the same. It's a clean switch here, so uh, there's, there's no glitching. So it's a, a nice clean switch. Uh, and I've been able to do that uh, for a little while. What I can now do is do that from the front panel as well. So uh, before I show you on the front panel, I just want to show you how we might set it up. So if I go into settings and to button mapping, this is a, a new menu. This is a, a menu uh, where I can uh, either map presets, map sources, or map windows onto buttons. So at the moment, you can see I have uh, the presets mapped exactly as I had them earlier, but I can reorder these in any way. So here's my 50 presets. I can map any of those 50 onto these eight buttons in front. Uh, second thing I can do is uh, change the source allocation. So in a moment, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be selecting a window and changing the sources. So here's my four sources. I've got a media card with two inputs. I've got uh, uh, this choreographer PC, and I have a media player as well playing the, the interview. And this is where I can select those sources versus the windows. So at the moment, I've got the window set as window one, two, three, and four. So that's the tools, how I set up. Once I've created my button mapping as I want it, I just go save button mapping, uh, and we're good to go. Now, uh, to, to change it, I'm not going to do this on the front panel. I'm going to change sources exactly the same way as I did in the dashboard uh, a moment or two ago. Let's bring up the dashboard so you can see, see what I'm up to as well. So to choose the window, so remember this is window one, two, three, and four, A, B, C, and D. Um, I got these across the top, one, two, three, four. If I hold it down, you'll notice how the button will flash red, and that indicates the window. So I'm going to select this window here, which is mapped onto button two. So if you notice, it's just flash red. Now um, I can switch from preset mode into switching mode. So to do that, I hold down these front two buttons and the buttons go green. And now I've got my four sources. So I've got sources one, two, three, and four. Uh, and if I change that, you notice how on the top right window there, I'm now switching uh, between my sources. So uh, loads of flexibility there using either the control, control platform uh, through Choreographer or using the buttons now, we can uh, change that. Now we're gonna be recording a couple more videos, so come back and uh, we'll be looking 
uh, in particular looking how we uh, map the audio through to these buttons as well. But for now, that's mapping presets and source switching. Thanks for watching. Thank you.